your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we moved to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. <laughs> but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. Ha! <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. You see the bumps? A thing. It's because of that slime. That they've been working non-stop for 20 years. Ah, uh, but now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter flooding system will give up the ghost. And we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too. Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Proceed. The general is expecting you. I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you are out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes, stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? Right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. 
We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. I better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer unless... How about some tea? You do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man! An Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? <laughs> he still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is... complicated. You must do certain things. And then look into his eyes, thinking... Would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero, Slava, isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing. Because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. What I say, they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity. If they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. <laughs> that was deep. Philosophical-like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course too. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. Come on, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. Happy new year. On duty tonight. I feel for you. You know, sir, it could have been worse. Yeah, at least guarding the green stuff storage isn't a hard job, really. Though I hope nobody's planning the heist of the century on New Year's Eve, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Well, good night to you. Thank you, Colonel, sir. You filthy 
drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! The brass. Got it! By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Do you know the guy? The one with big ears. He also keeps telling me ancient jokes all the time, don't he? Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Same to you, Misha. How about a drink? The first one is on the house tonight. Uh, tempting, but no, thanks. Suit yourself. You could drop by later once you put your kid to sleep. We'll be open till dawn. Thank you. I just might. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? We're not moles to live out our lives underground, you know. So, Wait, aren't you dressed yet? After taking so long? <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your sit rep? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There's just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see... I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on! Mission accomplished! Good job, Private! Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better and it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, Happy New Year! Oh, damn, this sucks, the damn generator is out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check, do you read me? Over. Reading you loud and clear, Colonel. Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. Where is that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitute from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private.
citizens, we urge you to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authority. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest you know the what's dregs? at stake. Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. I want another smoke. How about you? Nah, I'll pass this time. Well, suit yourself. It's been a while since I had smokes like this. What did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. He basically hinted that I had an official paper, signed and stamped, and that was the best I could have. What was your answer? What could it be? Yes, General, everything is as you say. Thank you for seeing me despite your busy schedule. You do understand that we had all our hard-earned wealth confiscated, so we are worried. He walked me to the door and shook my hand, with all respect. You weakling! What did I tell you? You had to make a stand! Hello, sir. the Greystock! You gave us nothing last week! Oh, how can you do this to us? Colonel, please, tell them to do something. First come, first serve. Please, Colonel, tell them to start handing it out. We can't wait anymore. Step aside. Let us through. Step away. Colonel, sir, permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. What were you touch? I just remembered the New Year. Didn't we have a drink here, right over here? Come over you here, remember? sir. Of course I do. Young Greece have definitely had too much. Open up, Petrovich. Slava. Uh, come in. Thanks. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. Akin? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. 
I know, but it we follow the rules. I found a cash, sir. He does have some. My cash. Not so much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has stashed. Enough. If... We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me some. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly, and you're short. 